Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to Convertio. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to Convertio. Convertio is a website for converting files to different formats. It allows you to upload files to other applications, such as Google Drive and Dropbox. Now I'm going to open the Convertio website. For that, I'm going to open Google Chrome. Now that Google Chrome is open, I need to go to the address bar and then type www.convertio.co then press enter. This is the Convertio home page. At the top of the Convertio home page you can see a bar with four tabs. These tabs take you to another website called clidio.com so I'm not going to introduce you to them in this video. Below that bar you can see another bar with different options and Convertio's logo. The Convertio logo brings you back to this home page. The Convert tab, if you hover over it, you will see different file format converters. We don't need any of these file format converters because we can convert any file type from the home page. Beside the Convert tab, you can see an OCR tab. Convertio has Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, which is the electronic conversion of images of handwritten or typed text into editable and searchable data. Here you can see the OCR tab. Beside the OCR tab, you can see an API tab. An application programming interface, or API, is a computing interface that allows two applications to communicate. The next tab is called Pricing. This is the tab to subscribe to Convertio. If you want any extra information about Convertio, click on the Help tab over here. If you want to create a Convertio account, click on Sign Up. If you already have a Convertio account, click on Login to log into your account. It is not necessary to have a Convertio account to use Convertio. In the centre of the home page, you can see the file format converter. To choose a file to convert, click on one of these four options. You can upload files from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive and from another website. If you click on the Dropbox option, you will be asked to sign into your Dropbox account. Same with the Google Drive option. If you click on it, you will be asked to sign into your Google account. At the end over here, you can see the option called URL. If you click on it, there will be a window available to enter the URL of a website, which is the web address. I'm going to choose a file to convert from my Documents folder by clicking on this Choose Files option. When I clicked on it, you can see that an open dialog box has opened. I'm going to drag the dialog box to the centre of the screen and I'm going to go to this PC and in my documents folder you can see my image landscape.png it's currently in PNG format I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to click on open you can see that the image that I selected is now over here on the screen to select the file format click on this down arrow and you'll see a couple of tabs and when you hover over each tab, you will see applicable file formats. I'm going to go to the image tab, and I'm going to click on JPG. You can see that JPG is now to the left hand side of the arrow. If I want to change it, I have to click on the down arrow, and I have to change it. Now I'm choosing JPG, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to click on the arrow again. If you want to convert more files, you have to click on Add More Files 
and then you have to select which file format you want to convert to with the same method that I did with the down arrow. If you don't want to convert the file, click on this button with the cross. I'm not going to do that. Below this file, you can see the option convert all to. So if you have multiple different files and you want all of them to be converted to a specific format, just click on this option and you will be asked which format you want to convert them all to. Currently I cannot do that because I only have one file. The file is now in PNG format and it is going to be converted to JPG format. I'm going to click on the convert button to start converting the file format. You can see that it is converting format to JPG format. Now you can see that the conversion is complete. Now the file has been converted to JPG format, which means that we can download it. If you want to download it straight away, click on download. Otherwise, click on the convert to logo to go back to the home page. I'm not going to download it now. I'm going to show you how to download it later. I'm going to click on the convert to logo and we're back to the home page. Now if you want to download that image that we converted we have to click on the tab called My Files. This will appear even if you do not have a Convertio account. So if we click on it, here we can see our landscape.jpg file. We can either download it or we can delete it by pressing this button with the cross. I'm going to download it by clicking on download. Now you can see that the file has been downloaded in the bottom left corner. The files in the tab called my files will only be stored for 24 hours then it will be deleted. So it should be downloaded into your computer within 24 hours of the conversion. Now you can see the file download is complete. This file will appear in your downloads folder, so I'm going to minimize Google Chrome. Now I'm going to open File Explorer. Now I'm going to go to this PC and then in downloads. Here you can see our landscape.jpg file. I'm going to open this file by double clicking on it. Here is my landscape.jpg file. Here's the image. This file was previously in PNG format. Now it's in JPG format. You can see that over here. Now I'm going to close this file. Now I'm also going to close File Explorer. And I'm going to reopen Google Chrome from the taskbar over here. This process of converting files to different formats can be done for many other different file formats. Same like this, we can convert audio, video and document files to different formats. Convertio has some limitations for using it for free. The first limitation is that each file that you want to convert cannot exceed maximum size of file of 100 MB. The second limitation is that only 10 files can be converted in one day. The third limitation for using Convertio for free is that we can only convert two files at once. If you don't want any of these limitations, you have to buy a premium plan of Convertio. I'm going to close the Convertio web page. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Flappy Bird and Space War. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!